Good morning, mathematicians. We have been looking at multiplying fractions, and I want to show you how we can use this 10 by 10 grid to model what is occurring as we multiply fractions. We've already taken a look at the word of and how important that word of is to our understanding what occurs. So let's take a look here. We have 3 tenths of 1 half. And we are going to use this 10 by 10 array, this base 10 grid, in order to show what is happening when we take just 3 tenths of 1 half. So first of all, you can notice that my directions are written in these boxes. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to click on this blue rod. This blue rod, of course, I'm looking at this vertical bar. Notice that I can drag it and drop it on this grid. I am going to drag it and drop it here on the first column. But my job is to represent this first factor. This factor is 3 tenths. Well, right now I'm showing 1 tenth shaded. So watch what I'll do. I'll take my cursor and I'll hover right here over that blue square. And as I do that, I am able to expand it. Here I show 2 tenths. And if I drag it one more time across one more column, I now show 3 tenths. So I can see, proportional to my whole, that I have 3 tenths of all 10, all 10 columns. I've represented my first factor. Now I want to represent my second factor. My second factor here is 1 half. I'm going to do this with the red horizontal bar that you'll notice is at the very bottom of the slide. This time, boys and girls, we're going to represent it horizontally. So I'm going to take this bar and I'm going to drag it and drop it onto my grid. But again, I notice that I am just covering up one tenth, one out of the ten rows. I want to show one half. Well, again, we're going to use that equivalent fraction knowledge that we brought with us into fifth grade and, of course, practice quite frequently in our adding and subtracting fractions unit. We remember that one half is also equal to five tenths. So I'm going to, once again, notice I take my cursor and I hover over this blue square and I'm going to cover five of the ten rows. Here I have three tenths four tenths, and five tenths. I'll notice now that my second factor is represented because I have one half that is white and one half that is now red. Notice, boys and girls, both of my factors are represented. Three tenths is represented here in the blue. One half is represented here in the red. But where the answer lies is where the blue and the red overlap. Now, you do not need to do this. However, I am going to take my cursor. Since I'm recording a video right now, I have this handy dandy cursor. And I'm circling right here, boys and girls, to point out where that overlap is. So I have this area where it's a little bit darker purple. This is where the actual product lies. Remember, this is built of 10 columns and 10 rows. It's built of 100 single squares. We know this from using base 10 blocks. If I count how many of those single squares I have here in my overlap area, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15 of the 100 single squares, okay? So now my job is to come and click up here, and I'm gonna type in that I have 15 of the 100 single squares that are in this grid. Again, boys and girls, with this way of showing that first factor in blue, the second factor in red, the overlap is where the product is. With this modeling strategy, this is another way where we can find our answers if we have a proper fraction times a proper fraction. 
We'll practice with this a little bit this week. Of course, there's many ways to multiply fractions. There's very efficient ways, but this is a good starting point because it helps us to see what is happening as we multiply fractions. And it's going to help us in the coming days as we talk about a new concept called resizing. As you continue through this slideshow, you'll notice that there are many problems now with the same idea, but they have that yellow background on the slide. So you know that this is where you are to solve the problem and you are to respond um, to the problem that is posted for you. When in doubt, come back and review this video so that you can see exactly what that process is. Try it out, do your best, because this is the building blocks for multiplying fractions.